Good morning, it's James. I do hope and pray this message finds you and your loved ones peaceful, thriving, and well. I am so excited to share this study with you today because this study represents what this community is all about. This study is a demonstration of you. It's a declaration of how you show up every single day. And I just want to bring this to you under the influence of my own deep, deep gratitude that I feel for you, that I feel for this entire community. The way that you show up, the comments that you share, the way that you, I, the way that I know that when we do our little five minutes here every single morning, we collectively just decide to go out in the world and outshine the darkness and do so with a level of grace and humility, with an emphasis on humility that the world needs to see today. Two studies that just came out that you were going to go, oh, yes, <laughs> here, here it is. You know, when you read studies like this in a time when selfies and self-promotion and sh shameless self, whatever they call that these days, like just self, 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 this study comes out at just the right time. It's a study that's been going on for the last 27 years, but they decided time was now to publish it. Two studies that were actually published in the Journal of Integrative Psychology that spoke to the power of humility the power of humility. They looked at it from young people, teenagers. They looked at it from people well into their 70s and 80s, tracking people who, answering questions each and every day, you could just tell that they were in it for something bigger than themselves. That the way that they believed that humility and kindness was the DNA of how they wanted their life to be represented and demonstrated came through them in such a way that it demonstrated right directly for young people to lower the incidence of depression, anxiety disorder, even suicidal ideation. How about that? There's so many things we can say about that, right? That this study is a representation of what it is that I think we all know, that when we're around people who move under the influence of grace and humility, there's a sense of trust. There's a sense of hope. It just buoys up our faith in humanity. And when it moved into the later years, people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, and 80s, moving under the influence of grace, humility, and kindness was shown to be one of the greatest indicators and predictors of longevity. Reduce the incidence of heart disease and cancer and autoimmune diseases. It is a physiological, neurochemical, emotion, and spiritual predisposition to life. Humility. When it comes to humility and you look up the etymology, it talks about humbleness, but not being afraid. Humbleness, but not dimming our light. Humbleness, but being absolutely courageous in our conviction about how we stand for something greater than ourselves. Humbleness that doesn't cower in the times that we're living and does not dedicate itself to how it is we can say what's in it for me. We heroically think from a space of our heart and say, what's in it for we? We. How do we want to be? How can we show up? How can we be the change that we absolutely need to see and be in the world right now? Humility. Mm. Nothing more to be said but something more to be demonstrated. Thank you. Thank you for being the demonstration of this type of research. Isn't it wonderful when science catches up with spirit? Spirit has always known this since the beginning of all, since the beginning, just, and we're getting an opportunity to look deep within right now and do something beautiful for something bigger than ourselves right now. The world is so vulnerable to see something beautiful, something brilliant, something kind, something graceful, and something with humility. Thank you. Much love, all blessings on your path. Bye for now.